What's going on YouTube, Giosner right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Wondershare phone transfer in order to transfer data from one device to another, for example, from Android to iOS and so on. Now, this is part of the Wondershare Doctor Phone Toolkit, which contains a lot of other tools, but the phone transfer one allows you to easily copy all the data from one phone to another with just one click. So it's actually quite simple to use. We're going to check it out in a couple of minutes. And the program is available for both Windows and Mac OS. There is also a free trial available here on the website if you want to check it out. Now phone transfer is compatible with Android 13 and iOS 15 and 16 and stuff like that as well. So no problem there and it allows you to transfer easily from one device to another. So you can easily move your photos, your contacts, your messages, maybe music and stuff like that from one device to another. And in cases like those where you have a lot of information to transfer, there is the phone transfer application which allows you to do just that. So to transfer stuff you the phone transfer application first you need to install the Wondershare application and once it's installed you press here on phone transfer this will open the phone transfer application you can minimize this right now and you will be able to connect the device from which you want to transfer the data here on the interface so to begin we need to select the source device this is the device from where the data will be taken so this can be an Android device or an iOS device let me connect an Android device first all right as you can see here it says connecting and loading data and for the target device or destination device we're going to have to select our iOS device which is going to receive all the data for that purpose I have connected my iPad and as you can see it says connected over here and connected over here so we now have a Motorola Moto E4 connected over here and an iPad mini 4 connected over there so now you can see all the things that we can transfer now as you can see some contents cannot be transferred in this case because for example applications cannot be transferred over starting with iOS 13 and Android 9 and stuff like that those are limitations from the operating systems themselves however we can transfer the contacts the text messages the calendar bookmarks ringtones voice memos photos which I have plenty of them on my Android device and also the text you can see 1009 texts over there music and videos and all you need to do after that is to press start transfer and yes it's that simple it says to transfer messages successfully please follow the steps below to turn off messages synchronization in settings account iCloud you have to do that on your iOS device to do that you just follow the instructions on the screen which I have already done and at this point it says loading data remaining time less than one minute it says in there but that may or may not be accurate so just wait for it to complete now as you can see it figures out everything that needs to be transferred including 28 videos and ring tones and stuff like that but also the messages and the photos and the contacts which I believe are the most important and most valuable things you would want to transfer because of course you can reinstall the applications again but the contacts and messages and stuff like that need to be transferred manually and those are important now as you can see the program began the transfer of the data and you can see it says 14 minutes left in there it's now transferring the contact and it shows every single contact being transferred this is the reason why it's blurred it's personal information but as you can see it says success over there and it's transferring every single file now this can take a while as I said but once this is complete all the data will be transferred over to the device so it should be pretty easy at this point you don't have to touch anything you just let the program do its thing make sure you don't disconnect the source or the target devices both of them need to be connected to the computer so do not disconnect them and do not lock them let the program run until everything is completed and you will be able to transfer the data from Android to device so yeah, I'm gonna be right back once it finishes all right so quick update you can see here now it's showing that the photos are being transferred it says waiting here on all the photos and this can take a while because I have a lot of photos you can see the iPad is right here in the corner not a lot is happening on the devices themselves at the moment the majority of the work is done by the program the program will take the data from the Android device will create a backup and it will restore it to the iOS device so not a lot will happen on the devices themselves at the moment or at least not much that you can see however do not disconnect them a quick update it looks like now it's transferring the videos which are pretty big and this might take a while but yeah we're near the end you can see it's 86% 
gonna be right back soon. All right, so as you can see, it says you have copied the data completely with zero failed items. And we can press OK in here and that's it. At this point, the iPad has restarted and all the data should be in there. But that's for transferring data from Android to iOS. Let's see how you can transfer data from iOS to iOS because the procedure is basically similar. First, you need to disconnect the Android device and connect an iOS source, which I'm gonna do right now. All right, so as you can see, we have connected our iPod Touch in here, containing a lot of demo files that we can show, for example, a lot of pictures that we have in here. Let's say you want to move from an older iOS device to a newer iOS device, then you already have this program or you want to use this program because it's easy to use. You can see that I have connected my iPod Touch as a source and my iPad as a target, and we can easily copy the data over, especially the photos in here, 68 photos that we have prepared for this demo. So there's a small toggle over here, clear the data before copy. If you check this toggle over here, it will essentially delete everything on the target device before applying the new data so that it doesn't combine the old data with the new. Now you may not want to do that and you may leave that unchecked over here but if you want to clear all the data on the target device before copying the new data from this device over here you can easily toggle that. I'm gonna to toggle it and press start transfer and at this point it will transfer all the data all the photos for example from this device from this iPod to the iPad. So I'm gonna press confirm over here and that's it. It's as simple as that. We press OK over over here as well because I already done that and as you can see it's now loading the contacts photos and everything so it's the same procedure as on Android and all the data will be transferred with one click that's the beauty of this program it's pretty easy to use if you want to transfer large amounts of data it actually does that relatively fast and with minimal effort you just have to connect the two devices to the computer and just select the data you want to copy over and you can see now it's preparing all the data all right so at this point the transfer has completed and now the data Data should be in there so let me connect both devices and check the data all right so this is the iPad over here and if we go here the photos you can see now that we have all the photos from the iPod touch everything has been transferred over successfully including the photos messages and stuff like that but it's important that the photos are now available over here because those are usually the most important things that you need to transfer now the program itself is actually pretty easy to use as you can see it's part of a bigger tool called Wondershare Dr. Phone which allows you to do backups, transfers, virtual location, unlocking the screen, data recovery, phone management and so on. So definitely check the program out in the link below. As I said, a free trial is available to try on both macOS and Windows and this supports the latest iOS and Android devices. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.